Hello everyone, here is DNA and Games and welcome to Talisman Prologue in the third chapter of the warrior book named The Royal Delivery. The story goes like this. The ogres that have the princess are hiding in the ruins. Defeat them and bring the princess back to the castle. But be careful. If you become evil along the way, you will have to abandon the princess in the desert instead. After finding out information regarding the princess Dogers, the warrior was ready to start his adventure. So, from the tavern, he first stepped into the fields. There, he found a water bottle and took it gladly as he remembered how harsh the desert was from his previous adventure and knew that with this he would be safe. Traveling in the field some more, he encountered the guide that joined him. The warrior then arrived in the village where he visited the mystic which offered the warrior a spell but he was not interested in this. He decided to return to the tavern, where, after getting tipsy, he fought with a farmer. After winning the battle, He decided to go again to the village and visit the mystic. But this time, after the encounter, the warrior felt strange. He started feeling closer to the light. With his perspective changed, he went into the field again. This time, he encountered a hobgoblin. They fought and fought, but after the time, they declared a standoff and the warrior left the field. He ventured into the woods. There he found a magic belt that made him feel more powerful. Leaving the woods, he traveled to the plains and in the middle found a cave. Inside, the warrior discovered some gold. He then went into the hills where he found a clear void that joined his party. Yet again, with the power of the clear void, from that moment on, our warrior was able to rethink his next step. He then arrived in the cracks. There, the guide offered his help to the warrior, but he refused. Luckily for him, he encountered the barbarian there, which helped him find a way out. After this encounter, the warrior felt stronger. Wandering through the fields, he found some gold. And after that, arriving into the hills, he discovered a magic stream. After drinking from it, he felt that his powers increased. Returning to the plains, the warrior was attacked by a wolf. After defeating the wolf, he returned to the tavern, where he got drunk, missing a lot of time to recover. When the warrior sobered up, he went into the fields. There, he found again some gold. With all that gold, our warrior felt lucky, so he returned to the tavern and gambled. He was indeed lucky, as he won even more gold. With so much luck, he decided it was time to battle the hobgoblin again. So, he went into the fields and they battled. As luck will happen, this time the warrior was victorious. Yeah. 
from there, he went into the plains, where he was attacked by a goblin. After another victory, he went into the woods, where he fought an ape. After so many battles, our warrior felt stronger. Arriving in the plains, he was attacked by a specter. But needing magic to battle a specter? The warrior lost this battle. Walk some more into the plains. He also battled another goblin. After that, he revisited the magic stream from the hills and he felt his power increasing again. Coming down from the hills, he got into the fields where he was attacked by an old friend, one of the bandits. But he was no match for our warrior. Yet again, he felt stronger after so many battles. So, he decided it was time to face the ogres and save the princess. Entering the ruins, our warrior was attacked by the two ogres that were keeping the princess. After defeating them, he took the princess into his party and started planning how to get to the castle. His first stop was at the mystic from the village, which taught our warrior how to be more crafty. From there, he went into the wood where a bandit attacked him again. After winning this battle, he felt stronger. So, he knew it was time to take the princess to the castle. For that, he only needed to defeat one more foe, the sentinel that was guarding the bridge. He defeated the sentinel and after that, he delivered the princess to the castle. And so, after helping the princess, the warrior was now able to focus on protecting the land from its fearsome enemies. After a rough start, we've actually completed this quest in our first try. I've been DNA Games. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video or if you'd like to see more. And I'll see you on the next quest, right on it.